everyone. Thank you for coming back to the Green Loft vlog. My name is Diana, as you know from the past video, and today we're going to be talking about four black environmentalists that have, that have changed the world. The first one is Wangari Mathai. She is an environmentalist socialist, and she's also the first African woman to win the Nobel Prize. Wangari Mathai was born in Kenya in 1940. In 1977, Mathai founded the Green Belt Movement, which is an environmental non-governmental organization focused on the planting of trees, environmental conservation, and women's rights. In 1984, she was awarded the Right Livelihood Award for converting the Kenyan ecological debate into mass action for reforestation. In 2004, she was awarded the Nobel Prize for her contribution to sustainable development, democracy, and peace. She was the first African woman and environmentalist to win the Nobel Prize. The next one is LaDonna Redmond. LaDonna Redmond is a Minneapolis-based food activist. When she lived in Chicago, she saw that there was limited access to healthy foods and she wanted to fight so that kids in the Chicago Unified School District could have healthier foods. So she advocated for salad bars instead of junk food. She also led a food movement to convert vacant city lots into urban farms and to replace junk food with salad bars in the Chicago public school system. She also co-founded the Chicago Food Systems Collaborative to help solve the issues of food access and public health in low-income communities. Redmond was named a Responsibility Pioneer in 2009 by Time Magazine and was awarded the Green for All Fellowship in 2007. She recently founded the Campaign for Food Justice, which fights the inequalities within the food system in regards to race, class, and gender. The next environmentalist we will be speaking about is Majora Carter. Carter is the co-founder of nonprofit Environmental Justice Solutions Corporation, Sustainable Soft Bronx, an urban revitalization strategy consultant and a Peabody Award winning broadcaster. Carter and the SSBX advocated for the development of the Hunts Point Riverside Park, which had been an illegal garbage dump. Her foundation, Sustainable Soft Bronx, focuses on various aspects including fitness, food choices, air quality, and the like. She was also one of the first six TED Talkers to launch the TED.com website in 2006. She devoted her life to promoting her ideas about environmental justice, sustainability, and her company, Majora Carter Group, is also striving to provide green economic tools. The last environmentalist we will be speaking about is Marjorie Richard. Richard is the first African American to win the Goldman Environmental Prize in 2004 for her successful campaign for relocating people who lived in a community close to a chemical plant in Norco, Louisiana. For generations, Richard's family lived in Old Diamond, which is also known as Cancer Alley. Many people within that community would be diagnosed with cancer because of the effects of a shell plant nearby. What made Richard want to be an activist was in 1973, when a shell plant exploded in her community. The explosion was enough to kill an old woman and a teenage boy who were just mowing the lawn. After finding the old woman's body dead and the teenage boy with bruises and burns, she became devoted to finding a safer space for her community members. In 1983, as a middle school teacher, she founded Concerned Citizens of Norco in order to seek justice from Shell and resettlement costs for her family and her neighbors. For 13 years, she joined forces with environmentalists and researchers and released a report that showed the Shell refinery in Norco releases more than 2 million pounds of toxic chemicals into the air each year. Those are four of the many black environmentalists that exist that have changed the world today. Without these women, the world and their communities would not have been safe places for people to live in. So thank you to them and to the many environmentalists around the world that work to create a more sustainable life for everyone. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. If there was something interesting that caught your eye, please leave it in the comments down below. If this got you thinking about becoming an environmental activist, also leave that in the comments. I would love to hear your story and your why. Make sure to subscribe to get more videos like these. And also remember, black lives matter.